PS5 emulation. Hmm. What is the first thing in your mind when you think about that word? Far fetch, way off. You're probably not wrong. But at the same time, you could be wrong. Due to the fact, look at the past history of the last two PlayStation emulators coming from PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. There's a little track pattern that I notice. The track pattern I, I notice is every time during the end of the console lifespan, as you guys see right now with the PlayStation 4, there's always some type of real emulation emulator that's in development. Before we get back into the video, I'd like to give a quick thank you to our today's sponsor of today's video, Friday Plays. What is Friday Plays, you may ask? Friday Plays is a subscription-based service that offers the users new games every Friday. What are these um, games that have been offered every Friday? Coming from Darksider 2, Fallout 4, Dishonored, for only games that are worth basically over $100 in value only for $14.99 per month and you can get these games every Friday. That's basically the best deal you can get for games that are basically worth $60 to $50 brand new releases that you can get for $14.99 per month. Sign up today and basically get awesome games for $14.99. So yeah, thank you. Um, Friday Plays for your sponsor this video and let's get back in right into the video What I mean by that is towards the end of the ps3 um um lifespan emulator of rpcs3 Was in the development was mostly was in the works and what you see right now with the PlayStation 4 emulator You see emulators like Orbital GPCS3 4 GPC S4 and also a, a Linux emulator as our recording right now is called Spine. So looking at the track record for all PlayStation emulation, we should expect a PS5 emulator in the works towards the end of the console lifespan. I'm not saying that this will be a guaranteed, obviously. I'm not too familiar with emulation or any reverse um, coding engineering, but looking at the track record, we should expect some type of PS5 emulator in the works around towards the end of the console lifespan. So as I'm recording this video, probably years from now, four to five years into the console lifespan, toward, probably towards the end, there should be an emulator that's currently in development or in the works. It just makes the most logical sense on how I see it due to the fact that looking at the past track records of all of these PlayStation emulation emulators and look at say for example RPCS3. This is a phenomenal emulator that's done tons of progress progress over the past few years of its emulations lifespan, which is very impressive in my opinion due to the fact that as you guys may or may not know that PlayStation games are hard to emulate. Have you seen The Last of Us, the first Last of Us on RPCS3? That game is so hard to emulate it, but they have been doing recent recently they've been doing major 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 updates to RPCS3 to the RPCS3 emulator to make The Last of Us part one at a playable state 